All right, thank you, Griffin. And unfortunate timing here. If you were planning to cool off from all of that heat at the Unity Park splash pad, well, you simply won't be able to for now. The city of Greenville says the splash pad is not working. Officials say staff are on site there trying to get it going again, of course. But they also say the splash pad will be closed for repairs starting next Monday. It will then reopen the 4th of July weekend. The city says contractors have identified the issues with drainage and jet heads. And we'll have more on that throughout the day. Turning to Commitment 2022 coverage this afternoon, South Carolina voters made their picks for who will be on those November ballots in several key races. One of those races, the Republican and Democrat primaries for governor. On the Republican side, Governor Henry McMaster is seeking his second full term. He had one challenger, Harrison Musselwhite from Simpsonville, known as Trucker Bob. That race was called early. It was called for Governor McMaster 45 minutes after the polls closed last night. Everywhere we look, South Carolina is growing. From the mountains to the sea, our economy is booming. More and more people are visiting our state. You see them all over. The parks are full. And many are deciding to stay for good, including a lot of our military people. I just recently got a letter from a commander of a base in another state. It said everybody there is talking about coming to South Carolina. Now, on the Democrat side of the primary for governor, five candidates were seeking that nomination. The race has been called for Joe Cunningham, as you see here. Cunningham represented the low country in the House of Representatives from 2019 to 2021. He took 56 percent of the vote, with Mia McLeod earning 31 percent. Senator Mia McLeod, thank you for putting yourself forward to run and for the spirited debate on the issues. And even though, even though we were competitors, we're now on the same team. And I look forward to working with you in the months to come as we bring our state out of the past and into the future. Okay, in Greenwood County, the Democrat primary for Council District 3 ended in an exact tie. That's right, incumbent Melissa Spencer and challenger Johanna Bishop each received 157 votes exactly. The Greenwood Elections Office says the next steps include counting provisional ballots and then it will recount those votes.